Beautiful day here at Scalp Logic. Joe and Nicole. Hey guys. And today, this is a fun topic. This is a really fun Does topic. Does being bald make life less meaningful? You know, I'm not a bald man, but I definitely speak to quite a few quite on a few. daily basis. Daily. <laughs> and I hear all kinds of stories. Mm -hmm. And I would start off just by saying yes, and 100%. You know, about 13 years now, I've been doing this for a living. And I started because I got my head done. I was a client, I was a customer. And I can't imagine what my life would be like had I never got this done. I was like in a cave, in a hole, uh, just, you know, a little depressed, really, maybe majorly depressed. I was just so desperate to not feel bald. Mm -hmm. So to have that frame, I mean, as we always say, you can tell how excited we get about it because we know how important it is. I mean, I'm living it, but you do talk to how many different personalities? I mean, from all over the world. That's what's really cool about what we do. It's not just the USA, yeah. it's from absolutely everywhere. How, how do guys move? What funny things they do? What do you see? Any consistencies or what? It's very consistent. It's like uh, they'll be at the gym, they're very confident, and then all of a sudden, let's say a pretty girl comes up to them and, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> you know, she's like, oh, and kind of starts playing with his hat or anything. All of a sudden, freezes up, completely acts different, and is like, you know what? Heck no, this is this is danger zone. I don't really mm -hmm. want to go down this path. Um, other situations are going on an, on a date, even to a nice restaurant. They will actually pick mm. restaurants that are not somewhere nice just so they don't have to take off their hat. And to me, that's like, yeah. what? I think people would be blown away, uh, women especially, if they realize the lengths guys go to, yes. to conceal, to hide, whatever they have to do. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Or even like, you know, the, the man that's married and he, his wife has no idea that like, you know, secretly he's like researching and researching what can he do about his hair loss or he's in the bathroom, you know, derma rolling and thinking that maybe this is going to grow back his hair. I mean, we hear the craziest type of stories and, and we're not saying <clears throat> not to accept yourself. We want to make sure that we make that. No, on the surface, that's obvious. It's yes. like, don't be shallow. You yes. know, if you're bald, just, just be graceful in it yes. and accept it. At the same time, we're pretending if we're saying that it's really not bothering people. Sure. I think getting a little bit deeper on it. Yeah, yes. exactly. It, it's it, to me, it's black and white. Does, does this enhance my life experience? Do I feel better? Yes. The money you're able to make, the yes. friends you're able to make and keep yes. finding a partner, finding the right partner in yes. life. And I know firsthand, you know, if you don't feel comfortable about your hair, you're gonna settle. It, you're not gonna be with the, the, the partner of your potential. I mean, think about how, how grand that is in itself. Yeah. Is that not worth a million dollars in itself? That's crazy to think about. How important is that? That's so That's true. That's everything, Because right? you don't have the confidence maybe to go up to that girl that is like, you know, in your mind, like the all, right? I'm not saying like you need to look good to be able to level up and get that, that girl who's unattainable. Not it at all. I'm okay. talking about you know, internally. Internally, yeah. Yeah, exactly. What do you feel inside? How do you feel mentally? Your life is determined by your attitude. So your attitude is made up on how you feel about yourself, yes. really, your confidence. Absolutely. And if you feel lack, if you feel unhealthy, if you look in the mirror and you're like, hmm, I know for a fact that my life changed for the better because yeah. of this. So an example that comes to my mind is, you know, we do three to five sessions regularly, right? To, yeah. to create our subtle peak. When I meet a man on his first session, Yes. It's a completely different man than I'm talking to on the fourth yes. session, the third, yes. fifth, right? Yes. When he has that established hairline, he comes in with a little, little, you know, swag to him yeah. all of a sudden. He's got a smile. Yeah. He's the same guy that didn't want to look me in the eye. The same guy that gave me a limp handshake. Or would not take off his hat and almost sits down and you can see that he is like struggling to take off that hat. It's the best part of what we do, if yes. you can't tell, <laughs> is, so is that, you know, you identify now, it's literally like a different identity. That's how I kind of worry it. You know, we're still bald. It's a, it's a, it's a hairline, but in a humble, grounded way, uh, you know, benefits in every, in every sense, in my opinion. 